things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day for Thursday, April 7th. All right, we got a new Dark Pool level on the spy at 450.98, 6 million level yesterday. All right, we're kind of inside yesterday's candle on a lot of candles, which not really a great place to trade. It's always great when you go outside of yesterday's candle, either higher or lower. So today we're going to be bullish above 448.25 for a retrace, okay, possibly to that 8 EMA, or we're going to be bearish below 447. We've already uh, gone down and triggered that bearish below level. Let's see, we're about 446. So I'm going to be bearish right now below 446. That is the next entry level for the SPY. Let's head on over to the Russell and see what's going on over there. Yep, inside yesterday's candle, we're going to be bullish above 202 for a retrace to the 8 EMA possibly or bear below 199. 25. Let's check out the uh, NASDAQ QQQ ETF. Bullish above 357. Another inside candle. Uh, bear below 353.50. Okay, let's check out the E minis. See what's happening over there. We're going to be bullish above 44.95 and bear below 44. 75 we've already gone down and uh, we did tag the jelly see that that's what i wanted to share with you guys this week really teach you what that peanut butter jelly see how we came right down to this red moving average and bounced that is what the j symbolizes right there yeah there's going to be a computer loaded to buy so the next trade setup is bearish below 44.70 let's head on over to the nasdaq futures we're going to be bullish above 14,625, bear below 14,500. See, we tagged the jelly as well on a five minute. If it's on a 15 minute, I will put a 15 after the J or PB for you. All right, a little heads up there. Oh, let's go to the oil futures. We're going to go to think or swim though. All right, we just came up and hit person's pivot yeah, it's like three different oh my gosh computer selling right there yeah we got this camarilla person's pivot and another camarilla that's a pretty big brick wall of resistance that's why today i chose to be bullish above 99.25 that's exactly the reason i chose that level bear below 96.50 all right let's head on over to gold gold looks like it might be rounding yeah, uh, let me just show you the uh, daily chart for a second. Could be. All right, we kind of flattened out. Is it a, a frying pan bottom right here? See that? Well, we really need to lift off with some volume, though. So, But it just kind of flattened out. I noticed that this morning. Uh, today, we're going to be bullish above 1935. Up, oh, we already went up and... Almost tagged that first target. Uh, bear below 19, 22.50 down here. There's a lot of support. You know, all these uh, Camarillas. We got a whole bunch of Camarillas. If we could break above here, there's a lot of room to run. Right? So I would definitely watch that. Let's check out Bitcoin futures. We've certainly been getting a lot of prints on GLD. Uh, Bitcoin futures, we're going to be bullish above 43. 750, we've just triggered that, uh, and bear below 43,000. All right, let's go to Tesla. Tesla's been on the list all week. All right, today it looks like it's, you know, trying to curl up though, but I'm going to be bullish above 1080. Yeah, prove to me your strong break above that 4 EMA here. There's room to go unless we go below 1050. Below, watch the jelly. Below 1050, we're going to be bearish for Tesla. Let's head on over to NVIDIA. All right, NVIDIA bullish above 
251.50 or bear below 245. There could be a big drop. We've had a lot of prints on NVIDIA and, you know, some bearish candle patterns. Here's a evening star pattern at the top, but uh, definitely have had a lot of uh, dark pool activity above us. Let's go to NEO. NEO bullish above 2250. Yep, if it can break higher there or bear below 21, there's a nice pocket down to these moving averages. We'll see if it can move today. Today might be, well, depends if we can break break out or break down today. We're kind of stuck inside a lot of candles today. So Hewlett Packard, though, not stuck at all. Big gap up. Well, we did have recent dark pool activity on this one. Bullish above 40.25 and pop and drop scenario bear below 39 is happening as i speak right now yeah it could be a retracement trade uh happening on hewlett packard today right aid haven't seen this one in a really long time but uh it's having some moves this morning so bullish above 720 and bearish below 680 that's really all the trades that i that i like this morning I couldn't find anything else um, but doesn't mean we won't find other trades during the day, but these are days where I probably would stick to the major index ETFs. So I've been mostly trading the SPY, um, and that's definitely the easiest one to trade, you know, while we're breaking down here. So, uh, till next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret